headed into a new age with science, technology, engineering, and math. The world is turning into technology. Everything is ran by computers. Everything we do is science, the clothes we wear, um, the country's going green, and there's a big push with that. Everything we do is science. You really cannot do much of anything for the rest of your life without doing some kind of math. Science and math is the base of fundamentals of learning. Uh, math, science, engineering, and uh, technology, like without those and reading, you'll have nothing. Science and technology is the wave. Um, I don't want to say the wave of the future because the future is now. Any kid that walks through our door uh, that wants to be a part of our magnet program will be. So you don't have to be a math genius or a person who loves science to be in the STEM program at Jones High School. You just have to have a willingness to learn. And we're going to meet you where you are and take you to the next level. They're looking for us to succeed, uh, be college bound. This is probably one of the best times to sing your child here. We have the extra tutoring for math. I actually got a chance to go to one of the tutoring before I took my math tax, and they really help. They actually take the time to, you know, individually find out what you're struggling with in order to help. A UIL science team, that's awesome. We go to regionals every year. My junior went to the UIL, and she took the uh, physics test and won first place. 10th, 11th, and 12th graders who are behind grade level um, in reading or math are getting double dose. Our incoming ninth grade class will have access to a laptop in each of their classes. The students will have a core group of teachers that they work with and who know them that are their advocates that they go and see four days a week. And we're really trying to push our students to compete on a national and hopefully global level in the sciences and in the maths. One of the biggest changes that has taken place is that we were the recipients of the magnet grant and we are going to be a STEM school starting next year. We are going to go with more hands-on technology in the science classes. It's hands-on, but it's driven towards science, 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 and driven towards projects, 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 pro projects. We worked on cloning roses. We've extracted strawberry DNA. Their challenge today was to make the robot make a figure eight when they actually can stop, try it, come back and learn. It keeps them engaged in the lesson. You get more knowledge and you get more into the subject. I just actually made biodiesel. Not only will they be learning about how to create biodiesel in my class. They will be writing about it in English. They will be learning about history with it and the social studies. So it won't just be my class that they're doing the fun stuff. It'll be applied to other classes. We do a lot of hands-on activity. It makes it easier to learn and makes it more interesting. I just think they get more of a hands-on, which prepares them more for college. If they choose to go into a STEM area, that's great. But Either way, they'll be more than prepared for college. They actually offer courses that teach you about college. It teaches you how to get financial aid. It teaches you the right schools according to what you want to do with your life. Getting education that means a better job, better housing, better future. For me to go to college is for me opening new doors for my family in general. Everybody in my family, everybody's like, look, if you're going to do something, you're going to go to college because you can't do anything now, especially in this day and age, without a college degree. When I graduate, I want to go to the University of Norfolk. Texas A&M or Prairie View. A hundred percent of our mainstream students have been accepted to two or four year college or university for next year. Stop. I love Miss Liz. She helps us out a lot. She's the best principal I ever had. How are your SAT scores? I like how she gets us motivated to do things. You behaving yourself now? She's a very good person. How's it going, Tony? I bribe them with candy. No. <laughs> she wants to make sure that she knows who's here, which I admire a lot because not a lot of people do that. You got an A on that paper? No, it's about making sure that kids are, are, their needs are being met. And sometimes it's not academic, sometimes it's social. And so you just have to take the time to listen. She's the second counselor that you have. She's the next friend that you have. She's the next mother you have. She's also energetic. You might catch her teaching a math class every now and again uh, since she's certified in math. They go, Miss Lewis, you're really a math teacher. Yes, I am. <laughs> so it's really good to see your principal jump right in with you 
and hit the ground running to make things happen around here. I just feel that it's important that both my teachers and my students know that I am an instructional leader. I understand where you are. I understand the difficulties that you're facing every day. Let's think about this together. Let's collaborate and figure out the best way to um, help your students. They're really stepping up. I think more students are going to learn, so they might want to stay for this program, especially if you're wanting to do something with engineering or science. With Jones having the STEM money and to get the STEM grant, then that lets them know that they are going to get the exposure that they need uh, to go on and to be competitive uh, when they leave here to go on to college. Make sure that you record all of your observations. There are really great things going on within the walls of Jones High School.